give Dan Carlson and the LHS Jazz Band another round of applause. We would like to welcome you to Red Letter Day's Coronation 2014. Ever since Henry Ford and the days of the Model T, Americans have had a love affair with the automobile and the lure of the open road. So this year's theme for Red Letter Days was centered on the idea of a road trip. Road Trip, a three out of five star movie with comedy wannabes and so-so box office. Do we uh, really need to hear about this now? Wikipedia says that a road trip is a journey taken on roads. Well, duh. Wikipedia? Really? What? It's a legitimate source. <laughs> right along with National Enquirer and Fox News. Oh, and there's an app to help you plan your next road trip. I'm going to download it. While she's downloading, let's introduce the parents of tonight's 2014 homecoming of candidates. First, welcome Rick and Martha Archer. They're the parents of Lizzie Archer. Lizzie is involved with student council, the statesman, and is a student at the dance gallery. Her favorite travel memory is having her sister cornrow her hair while eating hubba bubba squeeze pops on her way to grandma's house. Her first car was a Burgundy 2001 Honda Accord, better known as Ronda. Next up are Kevin and Callie Brick, the parents of Seth Brick. Seth, <laughs> Seth is in symphonic band and marching band in the LHS choir. His favorite travel memory was going to Harry Potter World. His first car was a 1998 Pontiac Bonneville, he, and he loves to drive it to Taco Bell. Please welcome Tom and Kim Fitz, the parents of Kaylee Fitz. Kaylee is the vice president of student council. Kaylee enjoys traveling across the state to the beautiful Black Hills, and her first car was a white Ford Escape. Rick and Allison Foss, the parents of Seth Foss, are next. Seth is involved with student council, cross country, and national honor society. When driving, Seth hates to see the sign falling rocks because they might damage his first car, his 1996 Range Rover. Next are Berlin and Lisa Nykamp, the parents of Emma Nykamp. Emma is a track and athlete and a member of student council. Her favorite travel memories involve trips to Colorado in the winter with her family's ski trips. Her first car was actually a hand-me-down from her sister, a Volkswagen Rabbit. Let's now welcome Tane and Scott Harriman, the parents, Hanneman, the parents of Will Hanneman. Will is involved with chorus, basketball, and the LHS Statesman. The oddest thing that has ever happened to Will while driving is his texting fights with Emily Leon. Will's first car was a 2002 yellow Monte Carlo from Jerry's. Coming down the aisle next are Brad and Jana Thamer, the parents of Jada Thamer. Jara is in Student Council, National Honor Society, and Yearbook. Her favorite travel memory is going to Hawaii and driving around to see all the parks and waterfalls. Jada's first car was a Jeep Liberty, which she loved to drive to Bagel Boy. Give a warm welcome to Fred and Diane Thano. They are the parents of Paul Thano. Paul is active in football and baseball and student council. His favorite travel memory is the trip he took to Canada with his brother and father. His first car was the Silver Surfer, a 2002 Saturn S Class. The sign he hates to see most when driving is, welcome to Iowa. Mike and Betsy Myers are next, and they are the parents of Nickel Myers. Nickel is a member of student council, runs in track and field, and is a member of the National Honor Society. One of Nickel's favorite vacation memories was going with fishing with Drew. Nickel's first car was a Cadillac DeVille.
Now join in welcoming Greg Starnes and Gretchen Starnes. The parents of Noelle Starnes. Noelle is involved with marching band, chamber choir, and French club. Her favorite trip was the RV trip her family took to the East Coast. Noelle's first car was a 1998 Nissan Maxima that was held together with duct tape. Let's give another round of applause to the parents of the 2014 homecoming candidates. Before we go any further, here's the LHS Chamber Choir under the direction of Linda Conrad singing Route 66. Chamber Choir. I get my kicks. Oh, I get my kicks on Route 66. <laughs> Don't quit your day job. Harsh. I'm downloaded. Did you know that Route 66 was the main street of America and was the route of choice from Chicago to Los Angeles, but it was removed from the U.S. highway system in 1985? I'm downloading. Removed? Why? Because it was replaced by the interstate system. I'm downloaded. Well, that's wonderful. So what does your app say? It says our first candidates tonight are Lizzie Archer and Seth Brick. <laughs> system was to blame for the demise of Route 66. Hmm. My app says that we're at the intersection of Interstate 90 and Interstate 29. How cool is that? You know, the interstate system developed because before that there was no uniformity of highways from state to state. Maps often didn't match up. Who needs a map? We have GPS. And look who we can find on it. It's our next candidates tonight, Kaylee Fitz and Seth Foss. <laughs> Where do you want to go? 
More importantly, how fast can we get there? Let me check for speed limits and travel times. Ugh, don't tell me. Yep, I have an app for that, and it's so cool. Well, my parents remember the energy crisis of the 1970s and the national speed limit law of 55 miles per hour. That's like as slow as 3G. I can drive 55! <laughs> well, make that a double well. Well, our next candidates tonight know no limits. It's Emma Nykamp and Will Hanneman. <laughs> singing? Well, yeah. But look. Whoa, what are all those? They're obviously road construction areas. Well, they're everywhere. The worst part about every road trip. <sighs> road road construction. construction. Well, with 47,714 miles of interstate in the U.S., there are bound to be areas that need to be fixed. I just love road construction season. <laughs> you just love gawking at road construction workers. Yeah. yeah. So? so? <laughs> well, our next couple tonight is definitely worth gawking at. It's Jada Thamert and Paul Thanel. <laughs> Detour. Ugh, we're trapped in road construction detour hell. You may be, but our next candidates aren't gonna let us detour stop their road trip. It's Noel Starnes and Nickel Myers. <laughs> take off and miss 2014 coronation, would we? No. Well, I guess not. But, <laughs> wait, I have an app. We can go places. Sometimes the best thing about going on a road trip is coming home. But we haven't even gone anyway. And it's a good thing, too, because look who just drove up. It's your 2013 homecoming king, Levi Foss. Yeah. <laughs>
gentlemen, your 2014 homecoming king and queen. Once again, your 2014 homecoming king and queen, Paul Fanel and Lizzie Archer.